Hello guys, welcome to a quick and dirty video. So I recently got the Jesse J9S, which is a rugged phone by a rather new brand, um, looks pretty professional and all that things. Um, and it is supposed to be IP68 certified, so it is supposed to survive dropping it into water. And they also claim the military standard. 810G, so there really shouldn't be any issue dumping this into water even for a longer time. But uh, I just did a water test with this thing and after just a couple of seconds it started to show random patterns on the screen and then started rebooting and uh, it, it booted up actually but wasn't controllable anymore and I couldn't turn it off so I put it in the oven at 50 degrees Celsius to dry a bit and uh, then it finally it turned off but started rebooting again and since then we've got a nice boot loop there um, which apparently stopped right now that's interesting oh it booted up surprise surprise whatever um, I need to check if something is damaged or if it's still working anyhow this thing is not waterproof at, as advertised um, when I opened the ports here water came out despite the lids being closed properly also on the top where the headphone jack is and let me just blow into this hole can you hear this those ports are not sealed so they are directly connected to the to the inside so if water gets inside of there it also gets to the main board and you can see that it got to the main board because there are water drops inside the sim tray area Everything inside of there was full of water. I dried it out a little bit. Um, my SIM card actually got fried, so I need to order a new one. And also my 128GB microSD card I had inside of there is dead. So yeah, quite a bit of expenses coming up there. So thanks for nothing, chassis. Piece of crap, don't buy this. There are enough outdoor phones from China that are rugged, that are IP68 certified, that are actually waterproof, but this thing isn't. And all that for 200 euros, that's a bad joke. I mean, you can get a, a Uniphone um, Armor 2 for this, and this actually will be waterproof. We already tested this, dropped it into water, nothing happens, and this dies just after a couple of seconds. Let's just see if something is totally broken on this one. Touchscreen still works. Battery for some reason went down to 25% due to the water. Before it was like 40 or so. Um, let's test if the speaker is still working. It actually still does. I'm surprised by this. Um, so apparently no hardware damage despite uh, the water contact and boot loop after it. But you never know what will happen in the future because I'm sure some damage has been done and I doubt this phone will live a long life. I just did some more testing, finding damages and indeed there are some hardware defects. Now I put in a new SIM card and a new micro SD card and as you can see SIM slot 1 empty and SIM slot 2 empty. So both SIM slots are broken now thanks to the water contact which also fried my other SIM card which sadly was my main SIM card so I have some problem right now. Um, and let's see if the micro SD slot still works. Nope, this one's also dead. I put in a new micro SD card and as you can see, it doesn't get recognized. So yeah, this thing is useless as a smartphone now. So if you got a chassis J9S, um, be careful. Don't drop it into water. I think splash water is okay, uh, but dumping it completely underwater is a no-go with this one despite being advertised. So yeah, that's it for this quick and dirty video. Thanks for watching and see you soon with more. Bye-bye.